Early in his career, Dustin Poirier's defense was pretty one-dimensional to say the least, consisting of parrying with one hand and a high guard with the other. This type of defense left openings for punches around his guard, and it negated any potential offense Dustin could throw. Nowadays, Dustin uses a modified Philly shell defense, where he's able to parry punches with his lead elbow and can throw some beautiful timed counters, as well as set up his offense. Up against the cage, Dustin will lure his opponent in and use a catch and return style offense much like Peter Yan or Rampage Jackson back in the day. Unfortunately, no defense is perfect. This style of defense has left Dustin open for body shots as shown by Max Holloway and Eddie Alvarez. Jim Miller and Justin Gaethje also had success with leg kicks since he is so heavy on his lead foot due to him being a boxer. And of course, Justin Gaethje's head kick that broke through Dustin's guard, which resulted in a knockout. Overall, Dustin Poirier has one of the most unique and efficient defense I've ever seen in MMA. It's going to be really interesting to see how his most recent loss affects him going forward. This is part one of a series I will be making on Dustin Poirier. Be on the lookout for a video explaining his offense coming soon. Until then, make sure you subscribe and like the video. And let me know in the comments what fighter you want to see me break down. Until then, thanks for watching.